advice to older people, I'll say men, but older people, make sure you do your push-ups in the morning. <sighs> I trust the dictionary. Hey, look, it's a Collins English dictionary. See? Here's your tea, Daddy. Thank you, darling. I appreciate it. Got this actually before we got here to Allison here in Eastern Cape. Uh, we house sat for almost a year. Uh, this guy was selling this house, you know, in, in Paro Valley, just in Cape Town. And uh, he had loads of books. Man, I read so many books. That's where I read. That's where I did uh, Barack Obama's uh, Audacity of Whoever Hope, whatever it was. <laughs> read it now and see what you think of Barack Obama. Read it right now. Stop what you're doing. Get the audio book because he's won an Emmy Award or something like that or whatever. Not a Grammy, but it was the, the, the Grammy for, for reading it and whatever have you. Do the Grammy. See how, see how, let him say in his own voice what it is and see how far you get before you just close that book. Actually, I'm looking up some EF, let me see the, oh, also, I'm wearing one of my collar shirts. Let me tell you something. I can't mean, put my glasses on to tell you something basic. This is may be important. Okay. You know, I've done community radio for a long time. I started community radio like 1972, something like that. It's exclusively community radio. Don't get me wrong, I had my steady you know, big big time places, but community radio is my thing. Anyway, one of the things community, especially when you have your own program, it's like a call-in program. People would just call and say stuff and just hang up and stuff like that. One of the things that was said to me a long time ago, I can't even remember when it was, in the 90s, something like that, somebody called and just said, it's the uniforms. It's the uniforms. It's the uniforms. Then he hung up. That thing stuck with me because then I realized that's exactly, he was right. It's the uniforms. Like, say, for instance, I'm wearing this like this right now. Now, one thing before I get to this, before, yeah, well, I, no, before I get to this, I used to do a lot of telephone work because I travel a lot, you know, and, and that, that's the reason why I don't have a lot of money, right? But it doesn't matter. But my, let's put my social security benefits are like really low because that, 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 that whatever. Okay. Anyway. Uh, one thing I learned from telephone sales, because I used to do telephones in you know, different places, whatever, and I was really good at it, because what happens is, believe it or not, when you talk on the phone, you really should smile. You should smile while you're talking on the phone if you're trying to get, you know, if you're trying to, I think we was doing a kitchen cabinet refurbishing, you know what I mean, so it's basically what it is, if you talk to somebody, you have to make friends with them instantly, because you, you do things for friends. Right. So if you if if I'm only if you're on the other end and I'm and I'm calling you and I'm I, I'm smiling I'm, I'm acting like a friend you you're more receptive you open you're more receptive to me. So when I say that I'm gonna send somebody by to you know to, to show you this 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 kitchen cabinet refurbishing whatever have you you're more likely to let my my friend because you're you're in the, you're not my friend then my friend can come and see you. See what I'm saying? And it, it works. Let's put it up. Then the other thing the other thing that I did see the, for a very short time. Uh, D E B D E D E B. No, I really gotta take these things off. A B C D A B C D E. Oh, I'm looking for B. D E. Uh, M C A B. Uh, D D E M C. Where's the Where's the B's at? No, D E oh here it is. A D E B D E B D E B D E debit card oh yes debit card debt debit D E B D E B that's I D E B I have to go D E B D E B Oh, come on, I can't find D B. There, that. I'm sorry about that. It's been a long time, man. Hey, look, I got one, two, three, four, five, six columns. We, it's a lot of words. Look at how this thing is. You know? Anyway, I got. So anyway, when I left that place, he let me take the dictionary. So I took the big dictionary. It weighs a lot. That's why I got the push-ups in the morning. Anyway. So one of the things I did, and this was, you know, I was a debt collector. Now debt is sort of different. In other words, when you when you're doing telephone sales and you're trying to get somebody to do something for you, then you're smiling. Debt collector is totally different, right? First of all, we had assumed names. Like I think my name was uh, Mr. White. 
I chose it on purpose. Mr. White, you had an alias, you know what I mean? You see your first name, I remember Mr. White. Okay, so I was Mr. White. Uh, anyway, well, and so I did debt collection where they give you these things, then you call people up who like what they call deadbeats or whatever it is, and then you basically, you, you try to strong arm them into, you know, get, well, however you want to do it, coerce them into, you know, making a plan so they can pay back this debt, even though it may take years or whatever it is, whatever it is, like that. But one of the things is you try to wear, you know, like, like you might wear, like a collared shirt, whatever have you, because you're trying to be official. But it's like, well, look, in audio drama, we have this thing. This, you, you shouldn't have to do costuming in audio drama, right? No, but the way we do it, like say, for instance, you're going to be the sheriff of this town. We make you a big star and put that on you. So when you're doing this live thing, you feel, because you got the star, you feel like a sheriff. You, you see what I'm saying? You know, if you, you don't understand what I'm talking about. So you dress the role for what you're, for what you're speaking. It's a uniform, right? So even though you got a collar shirt, so you're going to act differently when you have a collar shirt than you have, then you have, or you have a tie on, then you had, then you'd have, then you would have, say, a, you know, a polo, well, this is a polo shirt, but but you know, um, a t-shirt, you know, what I mean? different with a jacket, same thing, okay? So you you have the role, and then you assume the role, and that's what you're projecting over the phone or over the microphone or whatever, like right now over the camera. Okay, great, great. So let's look up the word debt. I have, actually haven't done this. Debt of honor. Oh, that's interesting. Debt. Something that is owed, hmm, such as money, goods, or services. Bad debt, a debt that it has little or no pro, uh, prospect of being paid. Okay, uh, three, an obligation to pay or perform something. Liability, four, the state of, own, of owing something, especially money, or of being under an obligation, especially in the phrases in uh, uh, the phrases in debt or in someone's debt. History uh, from old French de debti, so d e t t e, from Latin uh, de deturum, from something else to owe, from something else to have English spelling influenced by the Latin blah 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 blah. Debt of honor. A debtor, whatever it is. So there you are, debt. It's really simple. Something that is owed, such as money, goods, services. Money, goods, services. A debt owed. Money, goods, services. Hey, you know, for us American descendants of chattel slavery, maybe that there's not only just in money, but in goods and services. I think services is a really interesting thing to look at. Anyway, so that was just a little, I, I just wanted to let you know, according to, because since, you, since we're using the slave language, whatever have you, I mean, what, what, hey, 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 darling. Hey, baby. The, how, do you, how do you say uh, debt in a Afrikaans? Skull. Who? Skull. Skull. S-K-U-L-D. S-K-U-L-D, skull. That's Afrikaans for debt. So whatever language you're using, America, <laughs> the world, the oldest skull. Debt, you gotta pay. That's a little. Thing, a little suggestion, a little. No, a little demand for me. T, from the Pattersons taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect. From a desk of the ADOS, American descendants of child slavery.